they're heavy on topics and issues, like very controversial issues. They're like digging really deep into it. And so it's more so choosing sides based on that opposed to choosing sides based on the candidate. I definitely think the enthusiasm uh, for this year's election is uh, not as, it's not as much as in 2008. I remember 2008 I was in high school. It, everyone was just so excited. This year's election is different because it's more intense than the last election. John McCain for the Republican Party is a lot different than Mitt Romney is. Um, draws a lot of different voters. In 2008, we saw the emergence of an African-American candidate and it was more of a novelty. The candidate's religion is a big deal. I, mean, I feel like this year's election is definitely more competitive in terms of the race. Um, like the issues are definitely more tougher with the economy. Well, I guess it's kind of the situation our country's in. Uh, the economy, you know, is much worse. And we have a lot of political stagnation. They refer to them as the lesser of the two evils. Uh, There's a bigger focus on the economy and less of uh, our foreign policy and less emphasis on climate change. I still feel it's going to be a high turnout, but not as high as 2008. We're four years later, we have a Republican Congress that doesn't do much, that, that is halting the president at every step, and people have actually started paying attention to the issues. Also, I think the election's more you know, intense because the Supreme Court ruled that businesses can now give money to political campaigns, so we're seeing you know, YouTube has ads on there, and McDonald's can endorse people. Well, I mean, there's different issues now than there was before. A lot of the focus was on the, like the war in Iraq, and kind of stuff on foreign policy and now it's kind of turned to internal policies. I believe there would be greater voter turnout, especially because some there have been moves to pass voter ID laws. Um, I know that a lot of people feel that Obama's slogan of um, you know, hope and change hasn't really been lived up to. Um, so a lot of people are skeptical because they believe that change should happen immediately. Uh, just with all the attack ads and uh, the amount of money being spent, it's kind of disheartening.